hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Kaylin I'm 26 and I film a lot of entrepreneurship lifestyle and productivity content today is a Sunday my apartment is looking very chaotic and I definitely need to do a good Sunday reset so today we're gonna be spending the day together doing our weekly reset routine cleaning organizing planning all of the fun reset activities now I do want to say I don't do this every single week but I do notice on the weeks that I do do this where I actually like plan out my meals plan out my week get my space together before Monday morning it just makes Mondays that much easier and I just feel like I set myself up for success a little bit more so that is the plan for today it's actually already 12 46 and it's Father's Day today. I'm actually going out to dinner at four o'clock, like an early dinner with my dad later today. So I want to try to get all of this stuff done before four. So we have about three hours, which honestly, I feel like that's very doable. I don't like to spend my entire Sunday just cleaning and planning because I do also like to spend Sundays for reading and relaxing and just having that day before the work week. So I feel like getting it done in like three to four hours gives a good balance. You can like get yourself ready for the week, but then you also have the second half of the day to spend time with family, have some you time, do a little reading and just winding down before Monday. So we're gonna try to get this done in three hours. We have our Alani new here for a little bit of cleaning fuel. And I think first things first, I'm gonna go upstairs and start in the bedroom and just at least change the sheets. I already have clean sheets ready to go. I just need to take the sheets off of our bed and put the clean sheets on. So I think I'm gonna do that first. Come downstairs and tackle the kitchen because it is very, very messy in here. It's honestly a little embarrassing, but we have to do the dishes. All of this is clean laundry, so I need to put this away. I spent pretty much all day yesterday just getting as much laundry done as possible. We have some laundry on the floor here that needs to be washed, and then obviously just like getting all of this together, but I'm gonna go change the sheets, get our bedroom together, and then we'll come downstairs and tackle this. Sheets are changed, a bed is made, now let's do this kitchen. is picked up I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down but I wanted to show you guys the cleaners that I've been using a few months ago I went down the rabbit hole of switching to non-toxic products so for the most part we use non-toxic products in our household so like candles laundry detergent dishwasher detergent cleaning products it is a little bit of a transition going from like toxic harsher products like the smell of your Lysol Clorox I will say it does feel so much cleaner when you have those clean smells but after doing some research I realized how bad those those products are for you and your health so we made the transition and I've been using branch basics which I really like so I'll have them linked down below this is not sponsored I just know how hard it can be to find a good non-toxic cleaning products that are actually clean so this is the branch basics all-purpose cleaner and then we have the branch basics streak free glass cleaner which I will say this actually is streak free that's something that I look for in a good glass cleaner these are non-toxic plant-based non-GMO and they are also fragrance free. So I'm gonna wipe down our kitchen really quick using these.
kitchen is clean, the bed is made. It's already feeling so much better in here and we still have two hours left. So we're making good on time. Devin just got home from the gym. So he's gonna make us a quick lunch. And while he does that, we're actually gonna plan out our meals for the week. So this is something we started doing because if you watch my monthly resets, then you know that the past few months we've been eating out a lot more and we wanna do a better job of cooking more at home. So having a meal plan and knowing what day we're gonna be eating what and then having a shopping list just has helped us be better about cooking at home more. I just got this off Amazon. And then it also has magnets on the back so we can fill it out and then stick it on the fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and plan out our dinners. We don't really plan out our breakfasts or lunches just because we're pretty good about cooking at home. It's really the dinners that get us. So I'm gonna plan out our dinners for tomorrow, which is Monday through next Sunday. Girls are beautiful girls, huh? Yes, you girls are beautiful girls. I'm downstairs in my office. The apartment is officially nice and clean and it feels so good in here. The last thing that I need to do is just do the floors, mop and vacuum. But I typically like to do that at the end of the day when I finish with everything, just because with us, the dogs, the floors just kind of get a little dirty and messed up throughout the day. So I'd rather just do that at the end to finish off the weekly reset and have them nice and fresh. But right now I'm gonna sit down and update my budget really quickly. I've been really enjoying incorporating this into a weekly reset, Sunday reset. It just kind of sets the tone for the week if there's any areas that I might have any extra spending money in. Maybe I need to cut back in some areas. It's just nice to know kind of where I'm at and where I stand financially going into a fresh week. And this has also helped me stay so much more consistent in my budget, actually sticking to it. And it also just helps me remember to do it. Updating my budget is something that I am known for forgetting. So just having it in a smaller reset routine versus just my monthly one has really helped me stick to my budget more and also just remember to update it throughout the month. So, so yeah, we're gonna update this really quickly before we have to go. We are back home. We stopped by the grocery store on our way home. I'll give you guys a little grocery haul. This is probably the smallest grocery haul, which is good. We actually had a lot of things already in our fridge for the week for all of our dinners. We only needed a few little things to pick up. And then I also got myself some flowers. As far as groceries go, we have a big bag of broccoli. Not very exciting, but healthy. I also have some frozen broccoli, lots of broccoli. I like to buy the frozen bag though, of broccoli florets for smoothies. If you guys know my uh, blueberry smoothie that I always make, I put frozen broccoli florets in it and it's so good. You can't even taste them and it's just like an easy way to get in extra greens. And the frozen one just add that little bit of like coldness and iciness to the smoothie, which I really like. Then we have some greens for Lola. This is a very green grocery haul, obviously. And then we're also gonna make a really good homemade chicken Alfredo this week, which is a, kind of a new recipe that we've been making. It's delicious and it's super easy to do if you just get the Classico Alfredo sauce. This is my favorite brand. It's probably the cleanest that at least that we have at our Kroger. Definitely not clean by any means, but cleaner than some of them. So this is the kind that we get. And that is it for the grocery haul. Like I said, we really didn't need too much. Just Lola needed greens. We needed some broccoli and then we needed the Alfredo for dinner this week. But other than that, we have everything in our fridge, bell peppers, 
zucchini, onions, sweet potatoes, we have chicken, ground beef, all of the essentials that we'll need for dinner. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and cut these flowers up and put them in a vase. I just love having fresh flowers around. I don't get them too often, but when I do, I just, I love having them in the kitchen. It's just so nice, even coming down in the morning. It's just a little something, you know, to kind of brighten your day, brighten your morning, first thing when you come downstairs. Also, while I'm putting everything away, I'm just gonna go through, wipe down the fridge, get rid of anything old that might be in there, make sure everything in the back is still good and nothing got lost back there. I just like going into a new week with a fresh fridge, everything's wiped down. So just make sure that we don't have anything in there that needs thrown out. And then it also just feels good to wipe it down just because it might get a little, you know, crummy, dirty throughout the week. So I'm gonna do that too. smell so good yeah have you ever smelled flowers before Zena they smell so good groceries are put away flowers are done and honestly I needed those flowers they just they make me so happy the kitchen just smells so fresh and florally and I love it I have been struggling especially the past few days with anxiety and just with my mental health I mean it's not something that I say lightly but I think a lot of you guys know if you've kind of been watching my videos 2024 has been a really really hard year so far there's so many things that have gone on that I've shared with you guys and a lot of things also behind the scenes that you know, have gone on personally with my family and that's not really my place to share and just some things I just need to keep private. So I haven't shared all of it with you guys, but 2024 was supposed to be a really good year and it still can be. I'm not gonna be negative about it, but so far for the first half of the year, it has probably been the worst year that I've ever had. You know, it's taking a toll on me, um, definitely with my mental health, but typically when I feel like that, I would not film, but I've been trying to do a better job about showing up for myself, showing up for my friends, family, for you guys, even when I do feel like that, because honestly, it makes me feel so much better. If I just wake up and I feel anxiety and I just let myself sit in it every once in a while I'll have those days but if I just let myself sit in it constantly it just makes it worse and I get behind on my work or you know I don't show up in ways that I want to for other people and then it just yeah it just amplifies everything so yeah it's something that I wanted to address because I appreciate when other people share this it's just something that I've personally never shared and if you are going through the same thing just you know my advice personally what helps me and what i've been doing is just making sure bare minimum i'm at least showing up for myself because if i show up for myself then i can work on myself i can work on feeling better i can still get the things done that i need to get done because if i don't it's only going to amplify and increase that anxiety so by at least showing up for myself i can find a way to get myself out of this. It just, you know, it sometimes takes time. It's, you know, ebbs and flows. And right now it's just a little bit of a low point, but I'm a very positive person. And so I try not to let it get the best of me. It's just, you know, it's a time right now. It's not the end of the world. We can work through it. Um, but yeah, just sometimes it's tough, but that's just life. We all go through it. So anyways, I'm going to plan my week. First, I'm gonna go ahead and outline everything that needs to get done for the week and, and like kind of put those into days and just plan out my days a little bit more in depth. Planning is 
is done and that officially wraps up this Sunday reset. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for spending a Sunday with me, getting reset, refreshed, and ready for a new week together. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't something that I like religiously do every single Sunday. Sometimes it's split up between Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes it's on Saturday. Sometimes I don't do it at all, but I notice the biggest difference and just the biggest change throughout my week when I do do a full Sunday reset on a Sunday. It just kind of gets me in the mindset that the weekend is over, a new week is starting, and it just kind of gives you that day to get prepared and set up to have the best week possible. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you once again so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to like this video, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.